In this series, we talk about every little thing it takes to glow up from the inside out. We want our eyesides to reflect what's on the inside, and I really hope you stay and watch. Hi, I'm Mpo, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining, then hello glad you made it and i hope you stay if you are returning hi bestie i missed you i missed you glow up with me agenda for 2023 let's just do a quick recap losing weight instagram filter skin drinking more water taking full body pictures putting ourselves first and also being the biggest hype woman to ourselves Now that sugar is no longer holding me hostage, I must say, I feel a lot more better, okay? But I won't lie to you, coffee without sugar is an acquired taste. It's it's not the best thing. Americano without sugar is really not the nicest thing you've ever tasted in your entire life. You don't do it for your taste buds. You only do it to stay awake kind of vibes. But no sugar, I feel better. I feel like I have more energy during week two. I don't feel... The way I did last week. Me and one of my besties, we went out for dinner. And obviously, eating out means I'm not eating clean. I'm just, I'm not going to go to a restaurant and order a salad when I can make it in my own kitchen. You understand? So, we ordered our meals. I think it was, it was mac and cheese and then the other meal was fried chicken and fries. And the mac and cheese came with like bread. I mean, for for the first couple of minutes, I was looking at that bread like, hmm, I didn't order you, but you came with this. Now I'm contemplating. I want you. I want you real bad. I want you real bad. But then I was like, nope, it's not gonna happen. It is not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen and it didn't it didn't i didn't reach for that bread i ate till i was full i didn't really finish all the food i only like i ate and then when i felt like no portion control you, you're getting full now stop i stopped i stopped eating and i was like okay can i please have this in a doggy bag and let me take this home because clearly i'm not if my stomach is like i've had it i'm gonna stop so i'm proud of myself for that like Listening to my body is working. So I do suggest that you start doing the same. If you love food the way I love food, let's just listen to our bodies. Okay, can we do that, bestie? Can we be together in this? If your stomach is saying, um, I think I've had enough, just stop. Just, you know, put that cutlery down and be like, hey, Chucky or can I please have a takeout bag? So let's just listen to our bodies. Let's just let's just listen to our bodies. And I must say, usually eating out will come with a surmount. Will come with usually when I eat out, right? I would feel so bad afterwards for cheating. I would be like, oh my gosh, I had a cheat day. But now you must go slave yourself in the gym or work out super hard just to make up for what happened how dare you break the streak you were on but this time i didn't feel that way i was like you know what Mpo, you've been good these past two weeks you've been good a little just you know eating something fried and yeah enough for today won't kill you having this mac and cheese that's loaded with cheese just once it won't kill you tomorrow you'll just pick back up where you left off and don't punish yourself for it and i didn't saturday came i woke up i did my workout i just went back into the new routine that i've created for myself and not feeling guilty oh man extending grace to myself when it comes to this journey really helped me like i i felt great i felt really great remember how i added the lord 
in my weight loss journey this time and i'm praying lord jesus burn my fat lord burn my fat lord <laughs> let me tell you uh let me tell you what happened <laughs> so i was out with that same bestie i was out with that same bestie we went for coffee because we hadn't we hadn't seen each other in a very long time and we we're like oh let's just meet for coffee here friend just go and the coffee the lady and just you know just chill at a cafe and just chat man let's have a girl's chat so while we're at the cafe, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm craving cake. Let's have cake. Did I not go and order cake? But I was like, we're going to share it. So I'm not feeling as guilty as I would have if I, if I were to order a small cake and eat it alone. Because I'll be sharing it my bestie. So we go. I order cake. Shop. Payment goes through everything. We go sit down while we're waiting for them to make our drinks. Jiggy Jiggy, the owner of that cafe, comes and she's like, ah, no. So we have thought that that cake, those cakes came in this morning, but th they weren't delivered and they were supposed to be delivered today. So we don't have them. So can you please pick something else? I'm like, yeah, no, sure, no problem. So we chose another, another flavor. Jiggy Jiggy, two minutes later, she comes back. She's like, I am so sorry. Your cake isn't, I your cake are how. I was like, okay. And she was like, yeah, do you want to like change? Um, and then instead of us being like, yeah, so what flavors do you have? What do you have on hand? I was like, you know what? It's fine. Just cancel. We don't want, we don't want the dessert anymore. We just want the, the coffees and then that's it. We'll move on with our lives. Did my friend not laugh? She's like, me. you see what happens when you involve the Lord, when you put Jesus in your objectives, you add, when you add Jesus to your goals, he will make sure, he will make sure, he will make sure, Hore. Hey. Hey. Stay in line. You're not going to break this. Stay in line. I never, I never. I never we break in twin. I never we break. We say bend my fat. We involve you. We let you go nickeling. Once in your body coming to how to weight loss. Man, you know the other kick. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. So, in short, we don't have cake because when Jesus says no, nobody can say yes. So, God did me a solid. Last week, I did a lot of strength training. Usually when I do my workouts and I have the idea of losing weight in mind, um, I always do cardio. I always do a ton of cardio, like, like an hour at least of cardio per day. But this time around, I was like, you know what? Cardio is still going to play a big factor in it. Um, I either do aerobic stepping or a Grow With Joe video or a dance workout that's like at least 30 minutes minimum. Actually, what am I talking about minimum? Max. Max. That's what I'm doing right now. 30 minutes max. You won't see me doing cardio for more than 30 minutes like I'm insane. Unless I decide to like walk to work and back that day. But I'm not going to be doing cardio for more than 30 minutes in my apartment. Like, But yes, I do cardio, 30 minutes at least. And then I, I do a lot of strength training. That's the one thing that is different than that I've involved from the get-go. I usually do strength training when I'm like comfortable with being in the gym. Like after a month or so of working out, that's when I add the strength training. But this time I was like, you know what, I'm going to add this now because as much as I would love to lose weight, I don't want to drop it all at once. And I also want to be strong. I want to gain strength. Um, I really need to be strong. Like I really want to build my strength like that. And I'm also, I also don't want my arms to like start having Abu Sambonani, you know, when you wave and then this part of your arm waves with you i don't want that like i really i really don't want that so i'm doing a lot of 
arm workouts and back workouts because I want to work on my back fat and I want the bra bulge to go. So doing back workouts, shoulders and chest because I don't want to lose weight and have my girls dropping, you know? I don't want my girls to drop and have a drop suspension. Like I know weight loss means that they're also gonna like drop so i'm including a lot of chest workouts so that the girls don't go completely because i do like their size currently and <laughs> they can't disappear and i know my bum is not going anywhere because in my case it's jeans so i know it's, it's genetic so i know my nyash is not going anywhere so at least i can do is just make sure that it stays like firm while i work out and everything so that if I lose, there's a balance. It must be, you know? Curry with a bit of rice and like it was like a curry with veggies in. And then my other meal was pasta with stir fry. Stir fry is the easiest thing, you know, I just chopped up a ton of cabbage with carrots and then i just fried that with onion and then i was like yeah that's my stir fry and some tuna a lot of a lot of tuna a lot of canned tuna and that was my lunch for the week and snacks was same as last week which was boiled egg cheese almonds and yogurt almonds and yogurt and I must say the curry slapped. Like I haven't had good curry since I got since I got to South Korea. So that really made curry really slapped. Like it did the most. I did not expect it to slap the way it did. It had no business being that good, but it was that good. I don't know if you guys can see, but like apart from my ring light, ooh. Apart from my ring light, right, my skin has like a glowy, a glowy vibe to it, a glowy thing to it, um, which is thanks to the new skincare routine that I'm trying out. Um, it's still early days, like today's day six of me using these products, but I must say I do feel the difference. Like my skin isn't bumpy anymore, like my skin really feels skin really feels smooth which is like i haven't felt like this in such a long time like it's not bumpy at all guys like girl skin like as bumpy bo bo like it's not bumpy like it's not where i needed to be yet but it's better than it was about a week ago so it's like i'm literally just waiting for 30 days to pass so that i can tell you guys um what it is that i bought and what i'm using and what i use it for because i bought products from wish trend and i must say so far i am not disappointed um it was it was expensive like i really had to close my eyes when i was at checkout because it was really pricey but then i was like you know what skin is let me invest in my skin I know it's only been like two weeks since I've started this whole thing and it's currently Monday today so start of my third week I must say that I feel good I feel like I'm in a very happy place mentally I feel like me speaking my consistency into existence really does help like i feel like involving god in this is really helping me because not only will he make the cakes that i want to eat so badly not be out of stock he would also give me peace about it and help me stay calm about it and i i'm not as anxious as i'd usually be when it when i want to lose weight i i'm not as hard on myself as i'd usually be I am I'm actually just listening to my body like when it comes to eating food when it comes to the workouts because 
I do get days where I just don't feel like working out. And on those days, I don't work out, you know? Although I do make it a point to work out five days a week. I That's a standard now. Five days a week, I work out. But usually midweek, like by your Wednesday or Thursday, my body is just tired. So I don't work out on those days. And I'll just pick up the next day where I left off. And if I were to like have cheat um, meals, I don't binge the whole day now. I just have that one meal that I was cheating on. Or I'll have... I'll have that one snack that isn't healthy and then I'll move on from it. If that one meal I had was a cheat meal, that's all it was, a cheat meal. It's not a cheat day, it's a cheat meal. And I feel like now that now I'm not going to reward myself with food anymore because I loved doing that. Like rewarding yourself with junk food is really nice. I'm not going to lie. Nothing motivates me better than food, Shim. I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But this time around, I'm rewarding myself by getting A. My lashes done, as y'all can, can see. I'm a, I'm a cute girl. I'm a cute girl. My bad B era got me, like, doing my lashes, getting my nails did. Shortest nails I've ever had to go and get and get gel on, but I'm glad I did it. I am glad I did it because my my nails were starting to the ghetto, and also my cute hair. So I'm rewarding myself with those. Like if I'm gonna have a month where I'm just bad and I'm not doing putting in the work and I'm not being as consistent as I'd like then that's then the following month I'm gonna have to suffer because I won't be a bad bee I won't have my nails done I won't have my lashes or my hair done so I need to think smart and work out and work hard so that I can reward myself with the finer things in life so I can reward myself with that outfit Also, what I need to see myself in is a bikini, not a high waist bikini, but a bikini with the strings, with the strings on the side that you tie up. I need to see myself in a bikini this year. This year, I need to see myself in a bikini and I need to not feel bad about my hip dips. That's what I need. That is what I need and I am going to be there. I am going to be there because I have the Lord on my side. So, Genamudimu and Genali Consistency Ekloi Genyang, the work, the vac that I'm going to put into it. So, I will wear that bikini. And I hope, I really hope that when I, bestie, you have been eating right. I'm not gonna say too much. I just hope that at least to at least sometime last week he switched that burger for a salad. He switched those lace chips for carrot sticks. Like just just tell me that you did one thing. Just do one thing. One a one. Just a little bit. Just a little. Tweak it, Nyana. Have less sugar with your tea or coffee. That's it. Just do one change. Just one change. In addition to your workouts, just one change. Just one. Just one. I'm rooting for you. You can do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you if you stayed along this far, thank you for listening to me talk. Okay? <laughs> like... Thank you. I appreciate you. Do not forget that you are beautiful. You're seen. You deserve every little good thing coming your way. And you are also kind to yourself. Okay? You are kind to yourself. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like everything that is discussed here, 
just go ahead and click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Bye, bestie. I'm planning on posting every single Monday, so please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified so that you are notified as soon as I post a new one. Have a fantastic week further and be kind to yourself. We have cheat meals only, not cheat days. And you got this.